living a healthy life means overall physical and psychological growth for this it becomes very important to stay tuned with your body and listen to what it demands when it comes to nutrition we do our best to intake right amount of nutrients in the form of balanced diet vitamins are one of those essential nutrients which our body requires to stay fit energized and nourished today in this video we will dive deeper into the value of vitamins so friends stay tuned till the end the word vitamin was first coined by a polish biochemist casimir funk in the year 1912 we can define vitamins as organic substances that are created inside the body to carry out regular metabolic activities lack of these vitamins can cause disturbance in the living system resulting in serious disorders like rickets beriberi night blindness scurvy etc in the early 20s it was assumed that the vitamins are composed of amino acids thus they were named as vitamin the letter e was removed when this assumption was proved wrong moving on to the characteristics of vitamins our body produces these vitamins in very small quantity as a result they need to be replenished via food on a regular basis vitamins have nothing to do with the energy production but they do play a significant role in living mechanisms such as enzyme catalysis metabolic reactions etc the alphabetization or naming of vitamins is based on the order in which they were discovered we can categorize the vitamins into two prominent types fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins all the fat soluble vitamins are isoprene derivatives they are mainly apolar and hydrophobic in nature thus they are not dissolved in water based body fluids these vitamins rely on the fat absorption mechanism to get absorbed inside the body after absorption they are transported in the form of chylomicrons into the liver the fat soluble vitamins like a d and k are all stored in the liver but the vitamin e is stored in the form of adipose tissue lipoproteins and specialized binding proteins help these vitamins to travel through the blood stream the extreme quantity of these fat soluble molecules can be toxic for the body and this condition is known as hypervitaminosis the fat soluble vitamins cannot be eliminated from the body via urine and therefore are discarded through the fecal material water soluble vitamins are polar hydrophilic and water loving vitamins except for cobalamine all the water soluble vitamins can be produced by plants as a result whole grain cereals legumes green vegetables and yeast are considered as rich source of these vitamins since they are water soluble they easily get eliminated through urine the body is unable to store them for a longer time which is why they must be supplied on daily basis there is only one exception to this condition which is vitamin b12 it remains in the liver for several years now let us discuss about some common and important vitamins which we consume in our day to day life starting with vitamin a Vitamin A is also known as retinol. It is very important for the vision in dim light. It combines with rhodopsin to produce rods in retina which helps us to see in dark. Food items like carrot, papaya, egg yolk, pumpkin, fish liver oil etc are rich source of vitamin A. Deficiency of vitamin A can lead to the problems like night blindness that is loss of vision in dim light, keratinization of cornea and inactivation of tear glands. Next is vitamin B. The vitamin B is a group of many vitamins denoted by their numbers. Vitamin B1, which is also known as thymine, is mainly involved in carbohydrate metabolism. Soya bean, dry fruits, husk of cereals, meat, etc. are good source of vitamin B1. Lack of this vitamin in body can cause disorders like beriberi, muscular dystrophy, limb paralysis, etc. Vitamin B2 is also known as riboflavin. Egg yolk, milk, leafy vegetables are good source of B2. It is very essential for healthy growth of individual. It is crucial in fat and protein metabolism. Its deficiency can lead to the problems like chelosis that is cracks in the corner of mouth, keratosis that is skin inflammation or glottosis that is inflammation of tongue. Next is vitamin B6 or pyridoxine. It is a significant component of coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate. 
it is present in milk seeds grains liver eggs green vegetables etc deprivation of vitamin b6 can lead to convulsions homocystinuria dermatitis etc vitamin b12 or cobalamin serves the role of coenzyme in nucleic acid and rbc making reactions its deficiency can lead to pernicious anemia that is hindrance in erythropoiesis and nerve actions similarly there are many other b vitamins like vitamin b9 also known as folate which is needed for rbc production vitamin b3 also known as niacin and vitamin b7 which is also known as biotin vitamin c vitamin c is also known as ascorbic acid citrus fruits like oranges lemons tomatoes gooseberries etc are considered rich source of vitamin c it enhances the collagen formation and helps the wounds to heal fast vitamin c also plays part in rbc production since it regulates the iron metabolism also it regulates the function of fibroblast and osteoblast lack of vitamin c causes the problems like scurvy that is bleeding and swollen gums and weakening of immune system vitamin d is also known as calciferol the major sources of vitamin d are mushrooms sunlight eggs cheese milk and fishes the vitamin d is required for the absorption of calcium and phosphorus in the elementary canal also it strengthens teeth and bones deficiency of vitamin d can lead to the problems like rickets that is softening or deformation of bones vitamin e vitamin e is also known as tocopherol cotton seeds sunflower seeds olives dry fruits like cashew nuts apricots walnuts almonds are the rich source of vitamin e it is considered most potent antioxidant and prohibits the growth of unsaturated fatty acids vitamin e also plays part in selenium metabolism vitamin k vitamin k is also known as phytonadione the major function of this vitamin is regulation of blood clotting also it serves as cofactor for carboxylase enzymes green leafy vegetables like cabbage turnip broccoli vegetable oils wheat bran etc are considered to be good source of vitamin k lack of this vitamin can lead to disruption in blood clotting mechanism which can cause severe bleeding during injuries so guys that was all for today hope you found this video interesting and informative If you like the video do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon do like share and comment your suggestions in the comment box until next time this is me devanshi signing off